Here is DM4. This module contains the TACO display, which has a numeric section and a bar gauge section arranged as a power arc. The numeric section, as you can see, is fitted with red filter, which improves the contrast of the display and makes it a lot more readable, especially in bright sunlight. We also have on this display three 14 element bar gauges, which are configured as an engine oil pressure gauge, a manifold vacuum gauge, and a battery voltage gauge. As all of the Knights of England boards, we have an overlay, which is custom engraved, a circuit board, which is double-sided and contains some surface mount components and some pin and hole components, and a plexiglass rear panel to protect the electronics and to protect your fingers from devices which get hot. These heat sinks do get quite hot, so the plexiglass rear panel protects you from burning yourself on them. All the connections to the board are made through this 15-way connector and we have a number of calibration pots on here. This one for calibrating the TACO display. These bottom two for calibrating the voltage gauge, calibrating the minimum and the upper position and also calibration for the upper range of the vacuum gauge and the oil pressure gauge. As always, more information is on the website. OK, let's have a look at some of the displays on dash module number 4. The TACO display plus a number of bar gauges. The unit is powered from ignition switched power which means that the display will come on as soon as the engine is running. So let's apply ignition switched power to the unit and we see immediately the TACO illuminates as do a number of bar gauges. Now on the unit on the TV show these bar gauges were six separate seven element displays but we've configured them by default to be three 14 element displays. The gauge at the bottom is configured to read battery voltage. You can see at the moment it's reading just over halfway. If I increase the voltage up to about 15 volts, the display goes to the maximum. And if I bring the voltage down to about 12 or 11 volts, it goes to the minimum. Normally it's going to be running at about 13.5 volts when the engine's running and about 12 volts when the engine's not running. The middle one of these three gauges is configured to measure engine vacuum and as most vacuum displays are configured it reads from right to left so when the display when the vacuum is minimum, the display shows only one element or so on the right side. As the engine vacuum increases, so the display increases up to a maximum vacuum of about 30 inches of mercury. This is a good indication as to how, the, how hard the engine is working. The top one of these three gauges is configured to read engine oil pressure from zero pressure 
up to about 70 psi. If you have an engine pressure switch on your engine instead of an engine pressure gauge, then it's just going to read maximum all the time. Finally, the most um, prominent display on this module is the TACO itself, configured to read from typical idling speeds as we're seeing at the moment for about 700 RPM up to 6400 RPM. This uh, test rig that we have at the moment is only taking it up to 6200 RPM, but you get the idea. We also have an additional feature on this uh, module such that you can increase the sensitivity of the bar gauge display. Why would this be useful? Well, it's just a feature for showing off really. If you want to, um, if you're driving at relatively slow engine speeds and you want more bars to be, more displays to be illuminated, then that little switch enables the bar gauge, the power arc, to show more LEDs than you normally would have. This is the normal position, this is the high sensitivity position. Of course if you're in the high sensitivity position then it's going to go off the top of the scale as soon as you hit 3000 RPM instead of 6000 RPM. So only use the high sensitivity at engine speeds 1 or 2000 RPM. Under normal conditions keep it on the normal sensitivity which will operate the gauge nicely across the engine speed from a few hundred RPM to 6000 RPM. So there we have it, dash module number 4.